thing, you're gonna make sure that you download the link in the description and that's gonna take you to, uh, let me show you. That's gonna take you to uh, the, what you need to download it. That's gonna be step one. You know, that's gonna be a Regaro downgrader. So I'm on 4.76 uh, Ferox and uh, we're gonna downgrade it through here. You're gonna go update through media and then pretty much there it is there. Now, if when you download it, make sure that it's the same file size that it is on here, okay? And there it is there should be installing it And there you go. You're on Rebug, I mean on Regrero, Regrero Downgrader. So that file that I linked you guys uh, in the description, step one, which is going to be the, uh, the Regrero Downgrader 3.55, it comes with this other, uh, this other fucking app that you need to install this, okay? Make sure that you fucking install this thing. Here we go. Toggle QA. Make sure you install that. Because if you don't install that, you can't do what I'm about to do. You go all the way down here to network settings, and you're gonna pit, you're gonna press L1, L2, R1, R2, down on the D-pad, and the left trigger push it in all at the same time. All right. Now, if you did that right, sometimes it doesn't happen on the first try. You'll have to fucking install that thing and install it again. Okay. So make sure if it doesn't happen on the first try, install it again. But this one it happened on the first one. So now we know that this is fully on CFW. Now we can move on to step two, which step two is basically putting on the the, the second link in the description. We'll show you uh, how you need to have a custom firmware already uh, patched and all that good stuff. So step two is very important because from step two that's when you can go anywhere you want to go. So you want to go to a rebug or ferox or whatever but you need to install this one step two so it's the 4.25 already patched and already spoofed and all that good stuff and then you can install whatever you want to install on that okay so sometimes like I tell you sometimes it won't read right it'll say 3.55 but it, when you install it it'll say 4.25 sometimes when you try to install it right after you install an update it'll tell you it'll give you an error let's see if it happens on this one
Okay, we're good. So basically, that's what it is. Now, you'll see what I mean by... Give me a second, I switch over back to my TV. Now you'll see what I mean by it. You'll be on 4.25, okay? And it'll be already patched up and everything. So you don't have to worry about if you're going to downgrade, if this shit will get bricked up or whatever. All right, let's check it out. System settings. This is what I meant. You see, now you're on 4.25. So this is where you want to be. Now from here, you can go anywhere you want to go. Me, I prefer to go to Rebug. So I, I like 4.70 Rebug because I don't have to change the the RTM tools to a fucking higher O or 2.70 on CCAPI. So what I do is basically just go to 4.70 Rebug. It's better for me. Less drama. Anyways, links are going to be links are going to be in the description for the third and final update if you want to be on this version of rebug if not go to where whatever uh version you want to put on and now you can just fucking go ahead and update now remember if it doesn't work right off the rip you know what i'm saying right here that means that you have to just turn off your playstation and restart it and then it should update let's see what happens with this one i'm i'm surprised that on the other the second time we uh updated it didn't the, the files weren't corrupt. Usually it says that shit. So make sure to uh, click on the description and the links if you want to get these files. And uh, the first the first step will come with a Q&A and then the the second one will come with the multi-man you need. So in case you don't have multi-man. But if you downgrade, you don't need to like take off a multi-man or if you got a set enabler or any of that stuff that you already have. Once you get back to the firmware that you want to be on, all that stuff is going to work uh, automatically with the fucking firmware. So if it's too low, some of that stuff might not work. But if it's uh, up there, it'll work. And there you go. You should be on Rebug now. No problems, no nothing. Okay? It was that easy. Now the first thing you want to do when you're on Rebug, it's uh, basically get get your uh, all your programs right, the ones that you need. You know, you, if you're using Send Enabler to spoof your ID, you need that. PSN Ninja, if you use that shit, I don't use that shit, so I don't worry about that shit. Multiman, and uh, make sure that the first thing you do too is go to package manager, install package files from the PS system and install your rebug toolbox. That's very, very important, okay? And once you go in there, you'll be able to see, which a lot of people don't even know how to do this stuff. So right here, you go right here to it says system information and there it is there. You'll see we're on sex, and sex 4.70 and it's good to go now if you want to switch over to DEX this is why a lot of people use this firmware you go right here you go all the way over here to where it says dump EDI root key you say yes it should turn black and beep
there it is there now go back into rebug toolbox you're gonna go to and then you're gonna go up here to this one You don't have to fucking <laughs> do it like you used to do it. All right, now we're gonna verify that we're on on Dex now. So we're gonna go back into uh, Rebug Toolbox. We'll go back in here, and you can see it was a Dex Dex. Okay. And let me see. Oh yeah, you need to go right here and make sure that this doesn't say sex. Make sure you put this on decks, okay? Very important too. Okay? And then you'll be on you'll be on decks. <laughs>